scenario. In three, two, one. <laughs> so we have Michelle for um, a limited time, um, but to give her a feel for what sort of what we do on these What's Good shows, I'm thinking that I'm going to ask um, Mags to go first. Oh. And then we'll, we'll go to Michelle. Is that okay? That's, That's fine. fine. All right. Let's do this. All right. So I'm going to go old school, classic. Uh, so I my pick is Errol Flynn in Swashbuckler mm -hmm. types like uh, Captain Blood, which is actually, ironically, a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean uh, movies have a little influence from. Um, because there is a, there is some uh, like like a bishop and all that kind of stuff. The little references there that seem very familiar to modern to the modern movie. Um, Captain Blood is based on there was a war in. Of course, I'm not historically accurate with this one, but there was a war going on in England back in the colonial times and uh, way way and way before that um, when there was trading going on in some of the islands over here. And uh, so what happens is uh, Errol Flynn, uh, who um, was a, a doctor during that time, who uh, he ended up treating some uh, somebody on the Civil War side of England. And so he was condemned to uh, imprisonment to be enslaved at, at a, um, an island in the uh, in the Americas. And uh, what ends up happening is that uh, pirates come through. Uh, the island and he and his pals get set free and then they go out to sea and then they end up being pirates as well. Um, so I'm not going to tell too much about that, but it's, it's, it's very, um, very interesting ship battles, uh, especially in the uh, studios, how they did it back in the day. And uh, it's a, it's also a very, uh, it's got a little love story in there too. Um, another Errol Flynn classic that everybody knows is uh, Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can never, you can never ha have, a, a, you know, for me, I'm like, he's, he's Robin Hood. That's my Robin Hood. <laughs> so um, everybody knows that story. Uh, of course, it's a classic. Oh, what year, what year was that Robin Hood made? Oh, gosh. I would Because I, I, when I think of Robin Hood, I think of Kevin, Co right? Kevin Costner was Robin Hood. Is that right? Like in the 90s? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't, yeah, that, that's true. Uh, I think it was, it's either late 30s or early 40s. I okay, do. so you went way back. Yeah, I, this is this is way back, way back. <laughs> she really threw it back. Yeah, see, there he is. This, this, this is man. classic. <laughs> yes, there yeah. he is. Yep. Yeah, and you I've look never at, seen that. Look at the costumes, and all the costumes are are just they're gorgeous in this movie too, and just it's 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 fabulous. I love it. Um, it's it's got great lines. Um, it's a uh, uh, gosh. Um, of course, now the name is is, uh, is not on the tip of my tongue, but uh, he and his leading lady were always together. So they it was kind of like back then there was always a uh, you know the man and the the female co you know co star, and they were all usually they were sometimes like the dynamic duo all the time in uh, a lot of these movies together. Forgot her name. This is so terrible. <laughs> I wasn't. I hate, I hate on the spot moments like this. I'll, pr I'll probably remember it later. That, that's, um, how, that's how live streams go. <laughs> yes, yes, it exactly. is. Exactly. But uh, yep, there's there's my man, Errol Flynn. And another good movie. Oh, yep. <laughs> there you go. That's for yeah. you, Flaccid. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm going to save money. this image real quick. <laughs> You're welcome. You're and welcome. another another uh, another good one of his. It's um, I think it was, he was uh, much old, not really too much older, but definitely a little older in the, this film. It's called uh, Against All Flags. It's got um, against all what? Uh, against all flags. It's a pirate movie. It's okay. a swashbuckler. I think, he ends I think he misheard you. Uh, was one of those flaccid. Yeah, stop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just here listening. L A G S. I'm trying to behave. <laughs> um, that's also one where he has to go um, infiltrate into a pirate cove and see where some of the um the cannons are on the cliffs so that way um the uh the naval fleet can go in and uh disrupt the pirate cove from all of these pirates that are disrupting their trade so he has to go undercover but that also means that he has to deal with some of the pirate captains um so that's uh it's it's interesting and there's also a love story in there too so um, and one of the captains is a female. 
and she's a very famous redhead in, in uh, Hollywood history. So, yep, nice. good movies. Some representation. Who's that? Who's the redhead? Care Top. Oh gosh, uh, yeah. Maureen O'Hara. Wow. Yep. Well, she was if a- if they do a remake, she will not be a white redhead. <laughs> No, no, no. She, of the course, ginger she, side she, is real. She represents a very feisty Irish uh, pirate captain. So there you go. <laughs> so, um, Mags, I have to ask the obvious question. How did you pick Errol Flynn and where did you get introduced to his movies? Um, through my parents. I grew up on a lot of the old cl- classics like Casablanca, North by Northwest. Um, it's kind of, you know, been in my household for as long as, as far back as I can remember. Um so I grew up on, you know, the black and white movies, the silent films, um, not, you know, not all the silent films, um, but mostly the black and whites and the, uh, the classic movies like that. Uh, even like Jimmy Stewart, of course, like Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. That's another great movie. Um, all the battle, you know, war films like Battleground, Solid 17, um, The Longest Day, that sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, John Wayne, all that kind of stuff. I mean, the quiet man is basically a staple in my house every single March. So that's a tradition. <laughs> it's like you have Christmas and the Christmas movies and then March is all the Irish movies. <laughs> so, <laughs> you go full that's Irish. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Go yep, like on full on Irish. So, yep. Um, but yeah, no, I, I grew up on the classics and Errol Flynn has always been, you know, one of, one of the actors in that's close to my heart that I like, uh, mainly because I like swashbuckler types. Um, maybe it's not necessarily hero type movies, but it's action and he is a hero in them. Um, so check those out if you haven't heard of them. I'm pretty sure everybody's heard of Robin Hood, I would hope. But, um, but you know, the other two, Captain Blood and Against All Flags, Flags, Flaccid. Um. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah. I already searched the first one and now I have a virus on my computer. So. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so check it out. Um, Robin Hood, of course, is in uh, color. I think it was Technicolor, so somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, my my trivia is not really that great when it comes to that. Um, but uh, Captain Blood is in black and white. And um, Olivia de Havilland. Olivia de Havilland is in Captain Blood. So Cap- uh, Olivia de Havilland and Errol Flynn were always uh, the pair that people saw together all the time. In fact, she's in, um, in uh, uh, Robin Hood as well. So... Were they together in real life at all? Did they no. date? No. no, it was just kind of one of those things that Hollywood did back in the day uh, where it seems like maybe they could have been dating, but it wasn't really just that. They just had such great chemistry together. Um, it's just like Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart. Um, I mean, right. but of course they got married in real life. Um, it's just, and then like Maureen O'Hara and John Wayne. I mean, you couldn't, you know, they were always together in movies and even they weren't even you know, had a crush or, you know, liked each other. I mean, they liked each other in real life as friends, but not like in that regard. So. Would you say that his, uh, his films hold up today still for the average audience? Um, Robin Hood may come across as a little campy, um, but I think it's charming in that it has, um, it's, it's, it's very, it's wholesome. And mm. um, it's, you know, of course, Good versus evil, you know, against Prince John and everything else. And of course, you can see a little bit of the influence of that movie too into the animated Robin Hood and Disney. Um, so you have that kind of feel to it. Um, maybe uh, I would say Captain Blood has a little bit better chance because there is a little bit more, um, I would say, a little bit more violence on screen for that. And not necessarily violence in, you know, that time is different. But of course, you know, there's, there's cannon fire, there's fighting, there's blood, there's, you know, death, you know, it's just that sort of thing. Um, and it has a little bit more intrigue and uh, revenge factor to it, too. Hmm. Um, against all flags, maybe that might be sitting um, in the middle of campy versus kind of holding up. Um, but I enjoy them personally. So uh, check them out if you want to know what classic film is like back in the day. <laughs> Thank you, Megs. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That was um, so. Uh, I loved how original that was. I it was very original. Cool. Yeah, 19, 1935, I think Captain Blood came out. It looks like. Um, yep. I like think that was actually Olivia de Havilland's and uh, Errol Flynn's first movie together. I think, from what I remember, trivia nice. trivia wise. I know some trivia, but not all trivia. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you've That's watched awesome. so many so many movies from that era, have you watched like all the Hitchcock movies? 
Uh, not quite. I'm not a big birds fan. The birds fan. Okay. I, I'm oh, not a big yeah. fan of that. I'm not a big fan of that. But I do like. Um, what about like the Invisible Man or something? Uh, I have not seen that one. I I do like Rear Window. Uh, North by Northwest is another good one because that's more like a spy thriller type, um, where he, Cary Grant is accused of being uh, a spy for. I think this is during the Cold War situation. I think either the Cold War, some sort of spy spy stuff going on, and he gets caught up in it, and he's accused of being somebody else who is a spy who happens to be a woman. So. I I just asked because he got and he has a protector too. So go ahead, sorry, Michelle. Oh, you're okay. No, I just I was just gonna say I I just asked because he got brought up on our channel and I asked them like, do his movies hold up for modern audiences? So I, that's why I was curious about your answer. There, I would say Errol Flynn might come across as a little campy because it's swashbuckler type, but um, I would definitely recommend if anything for modern audiences is Captain Blood because that is it's um. There's there is some seriousness to it, and it's got um I think even Basil Rathbone in it too, um so it's got some good good actors. Okay, um, yeah. Um, let me just go to the chat for a minute because we have a whole bunch of more people here now. Um, we've got uh, Tim Stock. Hello, thanks for coming. And Jickle Trunk, I see you there doing all the links, and so thank you so much for that. Uh, to linking all, all of our guests, so please subscribe to everyone you see here tonight. Um, and and like well unsubscribe from Flaccid Phoenix depending on, on who he picks as his <laughs> as his hero. Um, <laughs> Joker voice, hello, thanks for coming. Um, we've got Shane Nolan, my Irish hey, friend. Shane. Yeah, so you guys have a lot in common, Megs. You and Shane Nolan potentially. Maybe. Maybe. Let me um let me see if I can. Hey, uh, can I share a picture of uh, Olivia de Havilland and Errol Flynn and Captain Blood? There, it's kind of like a promotional Please picture. Do. So yeah. let me see. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Let's see here. Just give me a second. <laughs> uh, let me know when you're ready, and I'll go through the rest of the uh, zombie box reviews. Hello. Oh, there. Oh. There, there they are. That was 1935. Errol Flynn and, wow. and Olivia de Havilland. Yep. Nice. So Let me hide that comment. We can see it. There we go. Is Errol short for something? Hmm. No, uh, I think it was a British actor. Actually, I could be wrong, but yes, there you go. I love that uh, color one up towards the top. It looks like one of the promotional pictures, but uh, yeah, those posters are so rad. <laughs> Um, we got yeah. uh, we got Latino Slant. Hello, Somebody hi, Polly. Shelby AC. Uh, yeah, it's popping in there right now. We've got um, Stream Elements Bot. Hello, how's it going? Stream Elements Silverlock. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. And uh, okay, I got something we can show you a little bit of Captain Blood. So, no CGI there at all. Nope, that's all practical effects. So that's Damn. kind of that's what I like about the 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 older movies back in the day is that they didn't rely on stuff. They had to rely on ingenuity and skill to be able to get these movies out there and especially make it make these sets believable. That was probably on in a set. So. Oh yeah, I, I you know that that was like they made they constructed some sort of like pool in a studio somewhere and oh, yeah. had these like giant boats. Uh, just kind of on rigs somewhere. But what I noticed too is like, and I notice a lot in those films. Um, what up, Latino Slant Polly? Good to see you, brother. Um, the, the the shots are like much longer. Like they take their time. It's not like these like nauseating films that are like quick cut, quick cut, quick cut, where you like can't see what's happening and like all of a sudden then someone gets punched and it's just like, ugh. Whereas you can see Errol Flynn hop on over to the other side and sword fight and everything and they're long shots that really play out so it's cool i have another another uh poster shot for uh for under the other movie oh, cool. against all flags so uh this is another this is the other movie so <laughs> i love a lot of the style. classic i love the classic posters they I mean they're yeah. they're gorgeous yeah they're cool yep I wonder, like, if you could find some originals of these. And Shane Nolan, are you saying that um, Errol Flynn's Tasmanian? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. There's some. Uh, there's that the film school, like right across the street from my business building. Uh, they have some of those old, like Casablanca-esque 
posters and uh they were all framed and nice and um you can tell that they were like the ones from the theaters so it's really cool to look at like you know the paper quality and the and how they printed it and everything it's like those are those should be hung in a museum somewhere it's really cool to look at them you're you're correct uh zax he was born in australia it looks like yeah so Thank i got you that very inc- much you know i got that incorrect <laughs> so <laughs> but no wonder uh, we like those aussies don't we <laughs> <laughs> they, all, they all talk funny, so it's fine. <laughs> Hello, Blair to Blair. Hi, Blair to Blair. Hey, Blair. So that's my Blair pick Blair. for those movies and action heroes. So I wanted to try to... At first, I was like, I know so many movies. <laughs> it's like, and then I was like, you know what? I need to uh, pull out the archives here. So I chose Errol Flynn. I love the pick. I think that's awesome. Like... Because that's kind of what I, I like. I like to have people do is share things that they love that other people may not have otherwise seen and can then go and find. Mm-hmm. That's that's so cool. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Glad you guys uh, like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sentient Dildo says, "I gotta have two sweaty men sword fighting." Definitely, <laughs> always. Uh, what do you think, Flaccid? What do you think of Errol, Errol Flynn? Uh, well, I thought it was short for Areola. That was the joke I was trying to set up. <laughs> if <anyone laughs> to set up but uh, I was going to ask Mags. Uh, you said, how, how do you say pirates? You say pirates of the Caribbean? It's Caribbean? 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 You said, yeah, you said pirates of the Caribbean. It just made me think, like, how many other words are you mispronouncing? Or just taking the, the like, instead of saying karma, you say caramel or something like that. <laughs> no? All right. That's I'm choosing. I'm choosing not to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a southerner. Are you being a bigot? 